What's up everyone, today we're going to take a look at another SQL interview question on stratastrats.com, this time being asked by Dropbox. Let's get into it. Now this question is called employee and manager salaries asked by Dropbox and marked as medium on stratastrats.com and our task is to find employees who are earning more than their managers. I'll put the employee name along with the corresponding salary. We only have one table called employee, which is containing a lot of fields. But there's only a few we're gonna use, I suspect. So we have ID, first name, last name, age, sex, employee title, department, salary, which is gonna be important, target, bonus, email, city, address, and manager ID, which is probably also gonna be important. Okay, let's think about how we're gonna do this. So we should find employees who are earning more than their managers. Earning refers to salary. So we have that salary column in there. But yeah, one row, let, let's just check the preview, but one row should be one employee salary, right? So we have Max George working in sales with a, with a salary of 1,300 and manager ID of one. So Max's manager has the ID one, which would be Alan Wang manager and Wow, salary of 200,000, so quite a difference. So Max is not earning more than the manager, but in another example, if that salary value would be higher than the manager's salary, we would output that person, that employee's name and the salary. So since we only have one salary per row, and we want to compare the employee's salary with the manager's salary, we need to somehow get both columns into one row to be able to compare them in SQL. So in order to do that, we're gonna self-join the table to bring in both salary columns and then just use a where filter somewhere to say the employee's salary should be higher than the manager's salary. And that's gonna be the whole magic, I think we're gonna make have to make sure that we set the join condition correctly. And then we just need to output the employee name and the salary. So let's get into coding that up. Mm, let's just select star for now and work on the join. We're selecting from employee. Let's call one of them A and one of them B to create that self join. And the join condition should be around the manager relationship. So we have ID and manager ID and employee, and we want to connect them somehow, just as I did in the example with Max and Alan. So Max has the manager ID of one, that's what we basically just did, right? And look that up in ID. So a.manager ID, a's manager, should be the ID in the other imaginary table. That's how we do that lookup. Let's just run that to see whether it works and, and visualize that. So we have Max in here, all the columns relating to Max. And then if we scroll right, we have Alan's information and the salary. So these, we have all the information in there that worked, but we have duplicate column names so we have salary in there twice and then all of these in there twice pretty much because we're selecting star. So instead of selecting star, let's select a dot first name, a dot salary, b dot first name, b dot salary, just to make it more clear. All right, so that's a bit condensed. We have Max and Ellen in there and their salary. And then I said, we just need to include a where filter where we say A salary should be higher than B salary. Okay, that's only the case for Richard also being managed by Alan, but Richard is making 250K, which is higher than 200K. So that seems to be the only person where that is the case. Um, let's think about what we have to do Expected output should also should only be the employee name and employee salary. So let's remove the manager's information. 
that should be it. Can rename that to employee name and employee salary. All right. I already solved that question, but let's check it again. That is correct and that works. Fair enough, we didn't have to use that many of the columns, but yeah, that is a common problem. Whenever you're comparing two entries, which are originally in the same table, you're gonna use a self-join and then try to compare a certain column value, in this case, salary, to get the desired output. So that's gonna be it for this question. I hope you enjoyed it. If you wanna try this one and other questions, use the sponsored link in the description to sign up for Starter Scratch and brush up your technical and skills. I'll see you in another video.